Hello, this is Retro Stevie here, and welcome to BeamNG Drive. Now today we are taking a look at a mod. It's not a particularly, you know, advanced mod, but it's still a good mod. So it's Load Up East Coast USA. Well, I'm sure you've seen it in some of my older videos. Uh, yeah, this map, East Coast USA. As the computer screen goes. Um. Oh, there it goes. Right, sorry about that. The video is working. Um, so, the vehicle we are looking at today is the Hirochi Sunburst Start. Hirochi created this cheap, cre no, Hirochi created this car as a cheap way for poor companies to, ex experience, the first hand the, to experience first hand the capabilities of their cars with minimum cost. Many safety and cosmetic features were helped to move any, were, were, were removed to help reduce the price only the ABS system was added as an international requirement. It sits so low in the Hirochi range that even though it is a sunburst, it was officially called Start to make a literal new Start model on the brand. So, um, I think that's just the same as what the other one says. But let's go on up and we'll take a look as the computer takes it. So, one of the glitches of this mod, and this will pretty much be fixed in the future, is as you can see, it spawns without wheels. So, you've got to add wheels. So, let's do that. And um, there's a Russian number plate on there, but you can add a normal BeamNG drive one, so it isn't like it's an old mod or anything. So, rear suspension. And I thought, because this is a basic car, I'll add um, 14 by 6 rear steel. And we will add the same on the front, 14 by 6 front steel wheels. Now, here this to another model of the Sunburst. And um, we'll bring up the menu, configurations, I think it is, yeah. And we, I never normally do it that way. I bring up the menu, but just to make it look for the way. So let's run up to what would have been the base model, which is the 1.8 CVT. This is the base model in the stock game, so we'll take a look. Well, one. Sorry if it does lag, but my computer doesn't really like this game. In fact, it's a laptop, and sometimes when I turn the charging on, it actually will improve the performance, which is quite weird, but it does work. So, here it is. Here's the normal one, and um, the other, the modded one's over here. Over where, I mean. <laughs> so, as you can see, this one has hubcaps, it's called wheel trims, as we'd call them in the UK. It says on the back, Sunburst 1.8. So, this is the base model in the game. There's the interior, so you've got the stereo there, power windows, you've got a gear indicator, a little screen there, and you've got these styles of seats. Now, let's compare it to the um, this model, the Stark. So, one thing you'll notice is it has black bumpers. I assume you know the plastic bumpers you see on some cheaper cars. I don't know if they exist in other countries, but they're definitely here in the UK. Um, they're the wheels I added because the wheels with it don't work. Apparently, they were taken from the, some mod. So you had to remove them. Um, so as you can see, there's no screen there. The gauges are lit up automatically. So when you turn the lights on, the gauges don't light up. You've got a cover over here instead of the stereo. You've got these seats here, which look slightly different. And you've got the same shifter. Um, as you can see, these have been covered up and replaced with a manual window thing. And we'll take it for a drive. Now it drives pretty much this. Now it has a different engine. Um, the one we're currently driving is a 1.2 engine, which for a car like a Sunburst is way too underpowered if you've been driving like the Sport version or whatever. Um, as you can see, it really is slow. Um, it does crash like the normal one, it crashes very well, but as you can see, I was playing this earlier, it really does struggle to get up to 80 miles per hour, and when it does, you're going along a really high RPM. One of the bugs is that it says 8,000 on there, but 6,000 on the thing. That isn't really an issue. It's still a quite a cool mod. Now, as for the engine problem, this mod actually includes another engine. It includes a... So, as you can see, here's 1.2. It actually has a... Oh. So, the way this is supposed to work is there is supposed to be a 1.5. So, I don't know if that's just not been added yet and I read it wrong or what's happening but there's supposed to be a 1.5 which isn't there so if anybody can help me out on that in, a, in the comments please let me know um so yeah very cool mod 
Um, it was very small in size, so you know if you've got BMNG drive, you should check this out. And um, what's well, BMNG drive? So we're going to have to do one kind of crash. There we go. Right into the tree. And obviously, I don't know like why, but sometimes when you teleport, the cart resets it now. Um, it might not do it here, we'll try it. Oh, it does. I'll end the video. Yeah, it reset it. So, yeah, that's the mod. Um, don't know what was up with the 1.5 engine, maybe he's adding it later. But this is it, yes, it's a very nice mod. So, for it's mainly just a skin mod, it doesn't really add anything. But I think the like the lit up gauges is different. The Hirochi over there, the, the radio cover instead of a radio, things like that makes it a really cool mod. And imagine you'd buy this car um, if you were needing a really cheap car or maybe as a first car or whatever. But yeah, very nice mod. Thank you all very much for watching and goodbye.